Hello my friends, welcome to the Graphics Perfect. In today's video, I'll show you how to create this amazing mouse over effect in glass morphic effect in PowerPoint, and I'll also add a slide zoom feature to it. Let's see step by step how to create this amazing presentation. First, let's see how to create glass morphic effect in PowerPoint. Go to insert and add your background image. Hold control and copy it. Right click on the image and go to format picture. Go to artistic effects and select blur effect. Then, increase radius to 50%. Right click on the image and cut the image. Then, go to format background select picture or pattern fill and click clipboard. Now that blurred image is set as the background image. Now adjust this image fit to the slide. Go to insert and add rounded rectangular shape, and draw it like I do. Remove shape outline. Then, right click on the shape, format shape, and select slide background fill. Now, go to the shape effect, select shadows and select inside center shadow. Select white color and increase blur to 44 points, and increase transparency to 9 points. This is glass morphic effect. Look at that. It looks amazing. Hold control and copy it. Select both the shapes and group it. Align it to the middle. Now, let's create the mouse over effect. Here, I copy these icons and text to save some time. I align the two icons to the middle of the shapes. Let's add text to the shapes. Go to insert, select text box, and add text to it. I name shapes as description and process. Here, I select the font type as Berlin Sans FB Demi Type. You can select any font as your preference. Select font color as white. Duplicate the slide. Now make icon a little bit smaller and move it to the top of the slide. Now convert this second icon to the first icon size, Go to Graphics Format, Change Height and Width. And move it to the top. Increase the size of the shape and move it to the middle. Select both slides. Go to the transition, and add morph transition. Decrease duration to 0.25 seconds. Let's see how it works. It works very well with right and left arrow keys. 
Now, let fix it to work with mouse. Select first shape, click on the insert, select action, and click on the mouse over, then select, hyperlink to, select the next slide, and OK. Do the same thing to the next shape. Now you can see once the mouse goes to the over the shape, it changes to the next slide. Now let's see how we come back to the first slide. Go to the second slide, select background photo, and go to the action, select mouse over, and hyperlink to the previous slide. Now, let's see how it works. It works perfectly. I think now you have an idea about the mouse over effect. Here in my slide, once I go over any shape, there is a zoom icon appears, and we can go through that slide zoom, let's see how to create that. Here in my slide, there are four sections. Each of these sections contains one mouse over effect slide with a zooming slide. Now let's go to our first slide, and let's make some changes on it. Decrease the font size and move it to the down to the slide like I do. Align these two icons to the middle of the shapes. Now, go to second slide, changes in the first slide not over. We have to make a few changes in the first slide. Before that, let's make some changes in the second slide. First, duplicate the second slide. Then I add two sections for those two slides. First one name is description and second one is process. Decrease font size to 20 and move it to the down of the shape. Here I keep this second shape look like same as in the first slide because this slide belongs to description section. I change the process shape in the process section. Q here I take a slide from my presentation to description section zoom slide. Now select first shape, go to insert, select zoom, then slide zoom and select the slide. Adjust it to the slide. Now, go to the zoom and, click on the return to zoom and, decrease the duration to 0.5 seconds. Let's see the results. Look at that, mouse in, go to the zoom slide, mouse out, return to the first slide. It's not finished. We have more things to do. Now, go to the process section. Change first shape appearance, same as the first slide. Move process text to the down, and decrease its size. I take another slide from my slides to process zoom slide. Go to insert, select zoom, slide zoom, and select the slide. Now, select zoom tab and click on the return to zoom and select round rectangular zoom layout. Then you can remove the reflection if you don't want it. Here I need to add mouse over action again to the second shape, because now it's linked to the process section. Go to action, click on mouse over, click hyperlink to slide, select your slide.
Go to the process slide. Click on the background image. Go to action then select mouse over, then hyperlink to slide and select your slide. Go to the second slide. Copy the zoom shape to the first slide and decrease its size, and move it to the downward. Then go to the process section and copy the zoom shape to the first slide. Then decrease its size and move it to the downward like I do. Now it's amazing. When the mouse goes over the slide, the zoom icon and the text box appear in the shape, but it's better there have a mask for this zoom icons and the text box in the first slide. Hold control and make copies of both shapes. Select both and gave some background color. Now, Move both duplicate shapes onto the original shapes. Now, first select the background image, then hold control and select both duplicate shapes and, go to the shape format, select merge shapes and select subtract. Now picture mask created. Here I go to the selection pane and rename it as mask. Move it to the top of the selection pane. Now all the things on the slide disappeared, and only these two shapes are remaining. When I move this mask around, we can see there are two holes in all of the icons under this mask. Here I bring the titles to the front of the slide. Now copy this mask, then go to the second slide. Delete the background image and paste it here, then go to the process slide and do the same. Now, let's add that mouse over action to this photo mask. Go to insert, actions and select hyperlink to 10th slide. Now, everything is finished, let's see our final results. It's amazing. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Goodbye until we meet again.